But first, let's talk about what's hot now. Themes song in my head right now. That was now. one of your favorites. You song? wake up in the morning and you're oh, I, I love it. I used to love it. He said, I was on her cooking show. She has an amazing cooking show. Yeah. I know that's she right. loves she you. Really that's right. Oh, she said she's, yeah. she's known you for 20 some years. We had well, we met because I was doing a scavenger hunt. We and on the scavenger hunt, it said uh, you have to go to a, a 90210 cast member's home and get, or get a picture Stop with them. So a friend of mine knew where she lived, so we knocked on the door like, <laughs> hi. Stop it. it. That was that guy. Yeah. And wow. That guy could be stalkerish, but she liked you. Uh, yeah. So there. No, if Lance came a knocking, I would open my door. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Since it's Valentine's Day, with a lot of romantic movies coming up, how many of you are still obsessed with Titanic? Yeah. 20 years later. Well, you know, this is the wonderful story of Rose and Jack and how romantic. Get over it. She killed him. She killed him. <laughs> Kate Winslet, who played Rose, recently admitted to Jimmy Kimmel that that guy, Leo, could have gotten on that piece it's of whatever. True. There was enough room, she pushed him off. Yes. So she could live. That That's my pretty shocking. That's my biggest complaint for this movie. Did he, you feel he, that he could have made yeah, it? Yeah, he tried one time to get yeah. on this piece of like, wood. Oh. Just try a couple more times. Yeah, he was frozen. He was <laughs> weak. He no. was frozen. You lift him off she, just a little bit. He was him. sleeping. It was the biggest. It's a huge, if you look on the aerial shot, it's a big, big, yeah. big door. But it's the water is. It up. You uh, die in two seconds. But in he that water. wasn't dead when she let him go. He held on as long as he yes, could, Meredith. She was not dead then. Meredith, you know so much about the story, don't you? Well, I, I haven't seen it. You're right. She's never, Wait, seen, you've never Titanic. seen Titanic. <laughs> That's so un-American. <laughs> because I know how it comes out. She kills him. Why do I need to see it? That's gonna. Yes, that's disturbing. But it's such a beautiful story of young love and the costumes yeah, are gorgeous. That, mm -hmm. She kills him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guess I've never oh, seen it. On that oh part. yeah, yeah. Okay. Why haven't you seen it? That's why I'm quiet. I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. <laughs> I ain't so why didn't you see it? I, I didn't want to see it because it, I thought I would get too upset. Why didn't you see it? Um, I hate to say it, just didn't interest me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoa, no shit. That's why I didn't want to say it. Cause look at y'all judging me. <laughs> it just, I wasn't. Kate? No. The I, diamond? No. The dropping? No. The sinking? Mm -mm. The love. The love. No. The but murder? What kind of love was it? She killed him apparently. Exactly. <laughs> so forget about that movie. It's dead to me. All right. I know what I'm getting in life for Valentine's Day. Awesome. Can we watch it together? Yeah, we know what's gonna happen. How romantic and what? What? Are oh. you gonna hold me in your arms, Meredith? Oh, oh baby, I'll, <laughs> I'll press you to my bosom. Or the yes. other way. Around. It's all right. <laughs> Speaking of Valentine's Day, the decision by an elementary school in St. Paul, Minnesota, to stop celebrating Valentine's Day and other dominant holidays such as Thanksgiving and Christmas has come under fire. I hear you saying boo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the school's principal says the reason for the ban is to be more inclusive of the ethnically diverse student population. So they... Oh, yeah, screw those people. OK, is this considerate? <laughs> Or is this taking ethnic sensitivity too far? But see, this think? is exactly why people don't want to take a step in one direction because they feel like they're going to lose everything. Now, why do these kids have to lose all of this because of other things? Incorporate everything. I don't want to lose That's Valentine's right. Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving. What's the offense with Valentine's Day? I don't even think you know what that's like. Fake well, Valentine. Well, I mean, it's not even it's... that. I think what this school might be saying. I know they said, you know. Uh, uh, cultural differences, whatever. But on Valentine's, and I don't, I don't, maybe you had this in your school, but for our Valentine's, you would buy people balloons. And the oh, person wow. with the most balloons at the end of the day were basically the most popular person in school. Yeah, now that's not right. 90% nice. of Sad. the kids never got a thing. So I could see, I can understand well, taking that bad. away. Yeah. But I, you know, I'm fine with not focusing so heavily on the major holidays, but there's a holiday every week. Why not, if you're looking for cultures, celebrate a different holiday yeah. every week throughout the season or the year. Yeah. And you learn, you learn and things. I, and I think this school did say that, you know, they have so many children from different cultures that, you know, they don't want to they don't want to push American holidays on them. But, but why not America? Why not let them learn I, about American I agree, culture? But I think it's also like what you said is to bring in. Yeah, that's no, right. it is, but if you push yourself in America, you get American holidays. <laughs>
think it's important for us to also learn about other cultures. Yeah. I think it's important yes. to bring in other holidays and accept all holidays. I don't think you should take away things like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Valentine's Day. Those are very American holidays and they're celebrated all over the world. But why not show appreciation for other cultures and let those kids have a day where they share their holidays with American students? That's, that's, that's a fair so compromise. Be inclusive, not exclusive. Okay, yes. <laughs> Speaking of bold world school people. policies, this is actually very interesting. In an effort to combat its seriously low graduation rates for black males, the University of Connecticut has launched an on-campus housing program which would put 40 black male undergrads living together in the same dorm. Critics call it segregation, but the school proponents believe that an all-black housing configuration would encourage students to draw on their common experiences and actually help each other. So what do we think? Do you think it's a good idea? It's not a whole separate building. It's right, within right. part of a dorm. But I think who's missing out here are the other students who are not included, the non-black kids who are not included. They're missing out from the experience of living with black kids and white kids, everyone living together. I think everybody's missing out. It's I mean, mixed, it mixed well, together. And I, I know what some people will say. Oh, like, oh, oh, oh you're no, giving no, me the hand on some black I, issues? No, no. I know what people would want to live with, you know, like you were, I think you said something. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you, because okay. I'm black. All right, then wait for my turn. You know, I went, I went to an, I went to an all-white school, so I can understand this. You kind of want to just relate to somebody and not have. Sometimes there is racism that you have to deal with, and when you see people like you, and you can just relax and not have to worry about race all the time. I understand why they have that type of environment. So I think it's a good thing. I do think they should incorporate themselves with the rest of the kids, yes. but I don't see a problem with them having. Well, they they're going out into the real world when this is done, right? right? And you'd hope that a real world would be diversified. Well, it's, and, you know, I, I, I don't yeah. know. Is it? Is it? Have we it gotten there, my white angel? Yes, we have my okay. black angel. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But you have to live in that world. But don't you think there's other opportunities to find people like you? I know where I went to school, there were different sororities. You know, there was a Jewish sorority, there was a black sorority, there was a Latina sorority. So, so that's I think the you have same social, thing, then. But I think, I think living with somebody, I think that's when you get to know people the best. And I think you're losing that relationship and that connection. I think there's other outlets where you can connect to people that are like you, so you have that sense of home and familiarity. But I think you should not... This segregation thing, this is stupid. Why would you ever Well, I would like to see university? a couple of white students maybe say, hey, I want to live in there with you guys. And, and then... And Incorporate that. Right? Anybody can apply. It's a scholarship. They actually say anybody can apply. You don't have to be black for the way right. the, the, the article reads, which is sort of interesting. So I think it's for 40 to, students. It's a right. scholarship thing. Look, if this if this is an experiment where it might lead to bigger graduation classes, then why not experiment with it? Give it a try. Yeah. All right. Well, they are. So there okay. you go. Okay. <laughs> we'll we all remember the Ashley Madison hacking scandal, don't you? Some of the men in this audience. Yeah. <laughs> When the identities of the dating site's 32 million members were exposed, well, now Ashley Madison says it has users. Uh, it's, it's thinking about users now. It says users should feel super secure <laughs> since the company has introduced this amazing security measure, a mask. Masked profile photos. That is the security measure. A mask. Is that look at that guy. That you, black. Hey, look that at him. You can, you, you can tell who he, he might as well put his social security number up there. I know exactly who that is. Yeah. Wait, do you, do you know who I am now? Right, exactly. <laughs> you see what I'm not? Yeah. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, it seems it's, like a joke. It's like eyes wide shut. Is this like the kinky side of it? And you want to see a guy's eye because I want to know what's going on with them eyes. Do you have pink eye? Do you have some type of disease? <laughs> oh, they actually Madison. have more people on Ashley Madison now than they did after the hacking. It's amazing. Really? Said that. Yeah. Does well, Ashley, Ashley Madison say, Madison say that? They did say that, I, I guess. Would, oh, I yeah, definitely right. believe it. I, I think, believe it it, how could it happen twice, they probably feel. Like, how can yeah. it, oh, it happen? happen twice. Bad luck doesn't happen. Well. Okay, you've all heard of multitasking. <laughs> Take a look at this woman. Yes, Ugh. she is nursing her two-week-old son and exercising at the same time. It's actually called breasticizing. <laughs> this Australian trainer's post on Facebook has people lunging at her for her lunges, <laughs> while others, including her husband, who took this photo, are very proud of her double duty skills. Okay. What do you think? She's Meredith, if you've ever had a baby latch on, that could be very, very scary if that thing latches right off, right, ladies? That that <laughs> sucker <laughs> pops on. This is a trainer. And if she it knows pops on when I'm doing, doing it, yeah. oh come on. I'm, I was exhausted. Well, I could barely lift my baby, you know, well, lift but myself. She's, well, her life story was that's her sixth child, actually. <laughs> and after three, she had Right on, sister. Wait, she had gained 66 pounds. She uh -huh. lost it after her fourth baby. She became very, very health conscious. Uh -huh. Is dead dedicated to exercise. It's part of the way she lives her life. She nurses the baby normally as well during the day, but uh -huh. occasionally she'll go out and she'll do some lunches Did or whatever she, it is. I like uh, this bitch press him after she gave birth to him? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why are we... <laughs> Why, 
Why do we care how she wants to lose weight and get get healthy? It's her baby. I it's her body. Let her work to, out how she wants look, to work out. I don't think out. she's don't trying to, to make it. a class happen yeah. at all the gyms. But, but there will be. But uh, There might be. I don't know. But I, I, I understand what she's trying to do size. here. You take you take moments that are very stationary, breastfeeding, yeah, right. showering, brushing her teeth, and yeah. you start doing little squats or butt lifts as you do it. Don't I, you do this? I do this a lot. I just started doing this like a year ago. I'll be hosting my radio show or something like that, and I'll just start doing butt you know, exercises. Well, I'm as doing my because why right not? Does that it all, it all, I'm, do, yeah, I'm doing them right now. I'm multitasking. I'm doing them right now, too. Yeah, yeah. See? Uh, yeah. I do them every show. It's great. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Valentine's Day is this weekend. If you're still scrambling to find the right gift for your loved one or punishment for your ex, we have the perfect idea buy them a cockroach. <laughs> Just ten dollars. The Bronx Zoo will send anyone you want a special digital certificate that reveals one of their Madagascar hissing roaches that has been named in your honor. And for twenty-five dollars more, they're going to send you chocolates to boot. And for free, you can come get the ones at my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we're talking, these are big babies. I got the big, big ones. I got the big you ones too. Big ones? Make making phone calls to take it. No. Uh, I love this. You don't because, get to keep them though, well, right? No, you don't get to keep them, but if it one happen, if yours happens to die, there's always going to be a cockroach. You can always lie. They, they don't oh, yeah, kind of similar. Little, yeah, that's that's yours. Megan, yeah, right. Oh, that's yours right there. No, that's yours. <laughs> I'm just, actually yeah. just getting word that our staff has a surprise for us. What? Oh. It better not be cockroach. Better not be cockroach. We each now have a roach at the Bronx Zoo no. with our oh, names. Oh, yeah. Show is so cheap they didn't spring for the chocolates. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs>